Okay, back from uh, Calgary after being there for a week or so. It's a little warmer here. It's about plus seven today. It's quite windy, so it feels like it's about plus three out. Anyway, I'm with Les today, and Les is uh, telling me to be serious today because there's no joking matter about today's environment. So, got our bottle of uh, Purell with us. And we're going to take a look at a uh, TR6 that Les has uh, purchased earlier. Shell. Actually, actually a TR6 shell that he purchased almost two weeks ago now, I guess it was. And uh, we're expecting quite a bit of rain, so we're going to go and clear out what's inside the shell. And eventually we'll move the body shell um, to storage. And we'll talk a bit about it later. Right, Les? Yep. All right, guys, Friday afternoon, uh, coming up to about 3 o'clock, and I've decided to go up to storage. Um, to get the uh, get my trailer ready uh, to pick up Les's project tomorrow. I think that's what the plan is. We're going to retrieve the project tomorrow and bring it up to storage. Unfortunately, my trailer is full of some stuff, uh, mostly MG stuff of all things. As we've had a gentleman uh, closing his business who worked on uh, Triumphs and MGs uh, closing his business, and we're just helping him transport some or store some stuff temporarily so that means uh, I need to clear that out of my trailer before we use it tomorrow so that's what I'm heading up to storage to do well it's uh, still you know a little warm it's supposed to be well below zero tomorrow I think with a low of about minus seven so it'd probably be a little bit more pleasurable to do it this afternoon than tomorrow that's what the plan is so maybe I'll we'll take a little uh, video when I'm up there see you then all right started moving some stuff in into one of the storage containers and here's what the trailer looks like so it's like I mentioned got a bunch of MGB stuff in here MGB doors rims tires side screens roll bar and a other few bits and bobs those might be for a TR6 actually those trim rings trim rings anyway we'll get to moving it inside all right got her mostly done and put away with the exception of a few uh, few tires and a couple of uh, doors and some Porsche parts. I wonder what they're from. Anyway, I wonder what kind of car they're from. I don't know if they're, uh, they look like a boxer engine. Manifolds, exhaust manifolds at least. That's about all I know about Porsches. So, and the only reason I know that is because they say Porsche on them. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. We'll get back here tomorrow, finish the unloading and then go pick up the other surprise. All right, it's Saturday morning, just coming up to 9 a.m. Man, it's cold out today. It's only minus 2. As the high today, I think it's probably about minus 8 or so at the moment. And it feels like the middle of winter because yesterday was so warm. In the morning, anyway, it was plus 17 degrees Celsius, so quite the temperature swing overnight. Anyway, I can't remember where I left off, if I've told you what we're doing today or not, but... Uh, Depends, I guess, on the way I upload the videos. Uh, I was trying to keep it a bit of a surprise, but uh, made a visitation to a, a project car yesterday that uh, Les is picking up. And we're going back there today after uh, I cleaned the trailer out yesterday afternoon up in storage. We're going to go back today and utilize the trailer to pick up Les's new project, or a project, let's say, that's going to help him restore his uh, 1976 Triumph TR6 that he already has. All right, that's it for now. We'll uh, go back inside and wait for less. All right, uh, 10 a.m. We've got the uh, trailer in tow. We got less in tow. Minus nine. It's definitely chilly out, it's isn't freezing. it? Freezing. It's freezing. It's freezing. Who said we should have done this yesterday? Less. Yeah. Anyway, so we're now on the way to pick up the uh, project. So we should be there probably about 20 minutes or so, and we'll bring you okay, back. Okay, we've got less as new. Uh, project loaded up in the trailer just got to strap it down and then head back up to storage so there she is we'll take a little bit better look at it later on okay. all right we've got the uh less new 75 tr6 uh back up at storage so this was a uh, failed project that i think sat around for about four years got to the bodywork stage and then they abandoned it so most of the bodywork has been done obviously needs to be gone back over but from a uh, panel perspective, the panels actually look pretty good. There's some surface rust coming through because the car was stored outside. So we'll have to go back through and sand it down. But as far as body lines are concerned, it looks pretty darn good. That door could probably go up a little tiny bit, but the gaps are good. Looks to me like the uh, sills on the bottom might have been welded. 
uh, or the uh, sorry the fender might have been uh, brazed to the bottom of the sill but uh, it is bolted on the fenders still have their bolts in them so I'm hoping they're not welded on although we may not have to take these off anyway we've just discovered that this panel is brand new it's still got the sticker on the underside that we can see so this is a brand new welded in uh, sail panel as far as the trunk is concerned it looks like it has some repairs done in some certain areas back here but it doesn't look like it'd be too difficult to fix so yeah and uh, the rest of it actually the floors don't even look actually look too bad at the moment so those are uh, didn't come with a uh, a boot lid uh, these are the hinges for the boot lid obviously it did come with a couple of uh, doors David, we uh, have a spare pair too. of what boot hinges no we have hood hinges because oh. the hood hinges on it so we, we got the gas tank with it we got the doors the car did not come with the engine or trans um, and obviously the interior bits are missing but Les has already got that for his other car that he's got as a project so obviously the dash has seen better days, but there are a few gauges still left in it that it can be utilized. It looks like they're actually fairly clean, although the car's been out in the rain for a little while. So it did have a tarp on it that looks like it had blown off. So anyway, uh, seats are just in the car. Uh, the passenger side is not bolted in, the driver's side is still bolted in. Obviously these seats have seen better days. Les has a good set of seats anyway. So yeah, so I'll just do another quick uh, walk around. Again, the car looks pretty straight. There's some little dimples here and there that need to be ironed out. It's definitely uh, a better starting point than his current uh, 76 that had some, uh, looked like it was uh, involved in a deer strike. So it's got some dents in the uh, front valence and the uh, gaps are not great on the hood. Um, the windscreen was collapsed. Looks like the deer went maybe over the windscreen. And it had some other uh, body damage on it, which would be a little bit more difficult to repair than just starting with this tub. Les got a good deal on it, so I'm not going to say how much, but uh, it was one of those deals where you had to go straight away and pick it up if you were uh, wanting to buy it. There were lots of people calling about it from what I understand. So yeah, I think that looks like a pretty solid body tub, good place for Les to start. And uh, we'll pop the uh, bonnet off. Uh, that's the worst part of the car. I'll show you the floors here before I get too far in, but floors are actually fairly solid. I don't know if they've been replaced replaced before, but I don't see any holes. We'll know better once we get the uh, the seats out and have a better look. Seat belts still look pretty good. Or it's still got those orange press button tags. So I don't know if it's uh, where the mileage was on this car. It's a non-overdrive car. It was a non-overdrive car. Anyway, we'll uh, pop the, uh, the bonnet off and have a quick look under there. It's not the prettiest under the bonnet. Just we'll want to give you a quick shot of the uh, body lines on the passenger side, and as you can see, they're pretty darn good. Without, I'm sure, this being shimmed at all on the frame, they are pretty good exactly the way they are. So the body lines work really good. This line up here is good, and the door gaps are good top to bottom. Also very good at the front. So obviously somebody's done some work getting the panels aligned pretty well. So yeah. It's a pretty straight looking car. So there's the underside of the uh, bonnet and that's looking pretty good. Again, it's just in primer. A little bit of surface rust coming through that's got to be cleaned up, but that's a good start. So here's the worst part of the car. And again, mostly surface rust. I would say. Battery box is even in good condition. I don't see any holes in the battery box, which is odd. So I'm assuming that the battery, battery box has been replaced before. Hard to say. It could be original depending on the mileage of the car. So, looks like it was a uh, Carmine car possibly. Hard to say. But anyway, I'll uh, go on this side. It does have all its uh, suspension. It's got a differential, it's got a drive shaft, etc. So again, this will have to be media blasted in here and primed. But it actually looks pretty good. A lot of times this area down here is really corroded because the uh, the brake fluid or the clutch uh, fluid reservoirs leak and it corrodes in this area, but that actually looks pretty solid. So, the body tags. I can read those or not. So yeah. Looks pretty good. Pretty straight.